Okay, so I wanted to talk about seeds. They're really hard to find, and so I thought I would make a video to show you where this are. But I'm at the end game. So if you're at the end game, you should get this trophy. If you have this trophy, then this will really help you. And this is after like the trial of Dundrasil. So this is the things that you'll need. Uh, I know it's going pretty fast, the bunny tail, the happy hat, and the uniform, that vest as well. Here are the places that it drops. So I put the uh, brony, uh, the bunny, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a way to uh, collect things and uh, the drop is horrible. Uh, but when in endgame, when you put these things on, it helps you. This is to help you with your MP. All you do is run around and your MP grows. So when you're in and out of a game. This is the happy hat. And these are the, the things that drop the happy hat. So um, uh, just one second and then you'll see where they drop. Which is actually in the trials. It has to be at nighttime. That's why if you see nighttime, try to do that. So when you go into the trial, you want to go through it when it's activated like this. And those are the outfits that you need. This is, um, if you wanted to instantly activate it, you click on Hallelujah. When you click on Hallelujah, uh, your ability will activate, your pip, uh, pep will activate. And then for whichever monster has the seed, you will instantly get it. And because there's two of them, I will instantly get the defense seed without wearing anything. But even so, I'm going to wear that bunny tail thing to activate so I could get more chests. And this is a video to show you what happens when you do that. And see, I got two of them which that will automatically do that only if all pep three people are pepped up so you'll have to activate them or and this is uh to get rare characters if you look at my things that's the ring i'm not sure where i got it it could have been an event i don't remember then this is uh the necklace the necklace was from the race it was from the black difficult race. That's why I have a picture like that. So life. These are all the life. I'm going to show you which ones they are. If they show you the primary habitat, that means that those are the locations. Um, but I will also show you pictures of some of the locations. Um, some of them will not show you the habitation because, hint, hint, if they don't have vicious or malicious at the end... They usually don't show it because it's not available anymore. But if you didn't do the trial or if you didn't do a certain chapters, you can still get them beforehand. Um, yep, this one uh, can be nighttime or daytime for this character. He's in the same location. This is, it can be day or night to get this uh, monster as well. It's in Dundrasil. Um magic magic is nice because when you do collect it it gives you about four points so i like to get them but they're really hard to find uh so that's why i actually show pictures and where they're located because they were annoying to find by myself uh but i found mostly everything i could uh but it was really hard yeah this one is in uh daytime because at night time they change to purple, so they're not the right type. So you have to do that in daytime. This one, you'll have to, it doesn't matter. It's day or night. Um, no, actually that one has to be at daytime, sorry. There are, <laughs> those flying guys, I, I was thinking of something else. Um, this one is the easiest. This is the one video that everybody shows is strength. Because there is one island that all of the strength are mostly at. So if you need strength, all you have to do is uh, attack the those little brownie guys. Um, or even those guys. Uh, if you see the star down the below, that's the island. 
I go to the Strand to, to go to that island. And uh, yeah, so that's a brownie. And it doesn't matter if it's day or night because it just works. This is Driftness. Driftness is not hard to get, but you barely get any points. Um, these are the monsters. And I hope that helps. Uh, this one is okay, but I just don't care for it. You can even get at the sea. Yeah, Sniffleheim. That one is actually really... I show a picture of it. Um, where to find that one in one location. Uh, yeah, that one is in Dundersill. That's... <laughs> I showed two locations in Dundersill where you could find them. Um, I don't think nighttime affects it, but. And then that one is in, uh, I don't know how to s s snipe a felt or something. So. I don't, it doesn't, yeah, that one I was trying to show, yep, and that one is the other side, cursed, um, you know, reflection thing, oh, um, speed, I try to do speed, but if you try to put agility in the race, it changes the time for even lower, so it doesn't really help you whatsoever. When you're going into this trial, um, it's supposed to be the middle one. When you go into the first trial for the forest, this is nighttime to get the pink ones uh, to show up. And you have to go into the portal when it's dark, okay, to, for it. Because even if you stay in there and it's daytime, it's not going to change the enemies. It's only going to change when you go through the portal. Um, this one is daytime. And this one is the bird that you've always seen, the green bird. They also give it to you, so it doesn't matter which one you do, day or night, I was trying to show you. it, it will. These are the agility, and it's in the same exact locations, uh, or the same exact map. Uh, defense. Defense was really difficult to find, because there really is only two different types. Um... There's one at the forest when you watch the video. And it has to be the malice one. So the first forest. Oh, this one is the trial one in the level three area. Just how you would get um, the same area with the, uh, the gold. I don't know. The golden machines or whatever. I, I don't remember their names. Okay, sorcery. Uh, sorcery is kind of annoying, but all you have to do is go to the Sniffleheim area or, um, and in the library. Um, if you go to like the first or second floor, you will see these guys in the Royal Library. Um, I do not show any of the videos because I didn't go back there to get them. But I really don't do that. Like, I haven't really collected that many seeds for that. Uh, this guy is literally in one place in the library. One place, and I show a picture of it because there's only one location. This guy is in uh, two locations, but it's in the same area. Uh, so I show pictures of these locations uh, because they were so hard. And the cavern at the octagon as well yeah this one is the second floor of the tutorial uh i mean of the trial um yeah third floor the only place that guy is and at the very end of the caverns under octagonia yeah sorry this is going too fast i cannot control how fast this is going uh these ones won't tell you where they're hided, but or hidden. Um, I show a picture of one location where you can f kind of find. It. Okay, this guy—he's only in Dundersol when it's raining. 
at nighttime or any time that it's raining. And he just is kind of where all the the ruins are in Dundersil. So I don't have any images of it because it never rains in Dundersil for me. So it's really hard to get skills. Uh, the This one is um, Charm. I, uh, I think Charm is easier to get. And it has so many different charms. Uh, the best way to get charms, I would think, is uh, the Vicious Vampire Succubus. Or Succubat. Uh, because, uh, you're trying to get pit pipes and the same location for pit pipes at nighttime is the same location. So this one is the flower, um, and it's only at nighttime. Uh, so the, this is the, the sucky bit bats and they're only at nighttime. So you can find them at the very beginning, or you can find them in the very end. See, right here, third, three. Uh, and you can also get uh, the pep pipes, or pep whatever you call them, at the same time. And this only at nighttime. So almost everything for this seed of Betsy or whatever charm is at nighttime. <laughs> uh, just remember, when you go through the portal... Go at nighttime. Even the second, you have to look at the time. Even going to the second area. So these are. This is my extras. Uh, uh, to find that the bulb thing, really easy to find. Uh, these are the things that I think are very important to like find or, and I'm not showing you where they are. The bomber red guys are the same place as the agility green bats. Uh, uh, the green bird is that I showed. Um, so yeah, this one and the next one, yes, this one and this one are made from one specific character, which I like to grind this character, like farm it so I could get both at the same time and he drops it. So you just go to this location and there's two of them. And I, it doesn't matter what time. And you could just farm to get those things. You can also go uh, to the metal uh, exchange area if you've collected all of them. You can also, when you get that serpent eyeball, you give her the serpent eyeball and you can get black tears. If you've never even gotten black tears before, that's the only way to get black tears. If you even look up black tears, it won't even show you. So you kind of have to know this. This one has only one drop to find this material. And it was from this glacier guy. Um, at nighttime, he's asleep. At daytime, he's awake. You'll find him more when he's awake. But if he, it's nighttime, you go, go to this location. He will always be there. Uh, these are, uh, I try to show you each and every care, mostly uh, each and every character for, for this. Because it's, these are materials you need um, for weapons and stuff. That one's a good one. I love them because mini metals, that one is really good. I mean, mini metals. <laughs> so I show the location of this one. I really think that this is a great way to farm mini metals and the um, agates or whatever you call them. Um, so I just show you different locations of the same exact monster just because I think that that's really important for farming. Some people like this to farm. So I showed that location. He's kind of all over in that area. Um, the, the dark ones are a little bit harder to find, but I showed all of them. This one is at near the sea. You're never going to see him fully. He's you're going to see the cactus. This is what I use. This is the guy I farm. And he's in the trial. He's like in the third level. Mostly everything in the third. Even where the pit pipes are. He's he's mostly everywhere. Yeah, pit pipes. Uh, you'll just see him a lot. And this is how you farm for pit pipes as well. By these two different things but uh to this is the location you'll see this multiple times because this is a good place to farm 
Uh, it gives you more gold. It gives you more pit pipes. I've gotten like 64 just doing it. You can even buy it if you have metals, mini metals. Um, or you could purchase it uh, cobblestone. Um, oh, this is pit pops. So uh, the same exact location. Ugh, the mini mini metals. That's the that's how you get mini metals as well. Uh, this is almost finished, and it's going way too fast for me to talk. Um, two locations at nighttime. It would be there, but on daytime, this is the location. Very very specific. Only at the daytime can you get that. Uh, so. That's mostly it. This is what I was trying to talk about really, really fast. <laughs> I hope that this video helps anyone at all. It was too, too fast for me to actually just talk through. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>